In your maternity section, you'll need to know the difference between true and false labor, which refers to the characteristics of the contractions and cervix. In true labor, the frequency of contractions will be predictable and regular, while in false labor, they will be unpredictable and irregular. In true labor, the intensity will be persistent, getting stronger, longer, and closer together over time. It will not resolve with comfort measures and will get worse with walking. In false labor, the intensity will be inconsistent, sometimes weak and sometimes strong. It may stop with comfort measures and will get better with walking. In true labor, the discomfort will radiate, usually starting low in the back and radiating to the abdomen, with vaginal pressure starting at the top of the uterus. In false labor, discomfort will usually be felt in a localized area only, typically in the front of the abdomen above the navel, and there will be no radiation to other areas. When in true labor, there will be progressive changes in the cervix, such as dilation, effacement, bloody show, changes in fetal position, and fetal engagement. And in false labor, there will be no changes to the cervix. I hope Hope you found this overview helpful and check out the full study sheet in the nursing school success bundle.